answer that question. Uh, how about more broadly, uh, that, that is a specifically for the State Department and USIA, uh, but uh, as I understand it, you know, similar separation agreements, you know, separation statement forms are required for other agencies. Uh, do you know if it's routine for cabinet secretaries to not have to do that, and that would just be something for lower level, or uh, in the previous cabinet secretaries left, they done, you know, they've been required to sign some more statements? Yeah, I, what my guess is that that's going to vary by agency. I can tell you that at the White House that well, I've not gone through the separation process here at the White House. Some of my colleagues have. Uh, and there, are, there is a lot of paperwork that's involved, including uh, signing uh, some documentation related to their uh, tenure here at the White House. Uh, but I don't know what that process uh, is at the State Department or other agencies. But, um, but that's not something that senior officials would be able to just say, ah, I'm not going to do that. It's only for lower levels. It's, it's generally something that applies to everybody who's leaving. Well, again, I, I, my understanding the at the White House is that that applies to everybody that serves at the White House. I, I don't know whether it applies to the President uh, and the Vice President, I guess, but uh, in terms of staff who work here, I do know that they have to sign those kinds of agreements.